find it really rewarding to uh, spend time in the game. Kind of at first you kind of suffer through it, but then you start to kind of learn how everything works, and then the game actually becomes pretty easy. And you're able to kind of actually enjoy playing a difficult game. I like how the enemy cancels out when I leave the screen. It's one of those wonderful little glitches. really hard if the flame devs don't agree with you. I'm obviously saving those Mega Crush items. Here's well, I'll use one here. They're pretty neat, but saving mo most of them I just save for the final boss and or any trouble spots. Plus, if you don't use uh, You don't use uh, your special weapon. You don't use them for a while. Then you're, you'll actually be able. You get a hundred points every time you grab a special weapon. Obviously a cheap little safe area here. Lucky for me, you get your health restored between each stage, which will be here. I don't find stage three as difficult. Uh, usually stage three in games is kind of the hard stage. It's really, it's kind of like a hump. Stage three hump you have to get over to get to a you know the second half of the game, but in this case it's actually kind of a breeze. You kind of got to be on top of the enemies here, the one around you. I feel very at home here. I play a lot of the uh, Japanese shmups and uh, lots of uh, lots of shooter games like this, and I feel very comfortable manning a uh, movable craft. First time that I use the projectile projectiles on the boss.
really not that difficult. Just keep chugging at it. The music is quite nice. There's a lot of cool, uh, you know, little grooves and, and things going on. The stage introduces some new enemies, full-sized birds and jumping ninjas. Ninjas that summon the spirits. Moving my way through the stage. It's a nice little change of scenery. Just, you know, factory. There's another situation where I'm going to abuse the. Use it as much as I thought. Now I'm back to three lives. Let's see if I can escape. You keep all of your Mega Crush moves when you die, though, which kind of gives me an advantage. I think. Last time I died more near the end, but you know, it's part of video games. Get my health back up. Oh, my health is at five. That's always nice. There we go. You tag him once, you hit him twice, and he's gone. Makes it real easy. Take some practice to get the timing down. I obviously failed earlier. Get on another extend. There's a lot of extends, especially if you farm for points or do anything like that. You can usually find some extra lives pretty easily. Trying something different. For a while, I had a show called Retro Rare Retro Rare Reviews. This is kind of uh, a review show for retro games, Japanese imports, uh, things like that. I enjoy doing that show, and you'll probably see some more episodes here in the future. This level really reminds me of, of Mucha, the other game I mentioned earlier. Although, even though Musha is similar, uh, there's a lot of this strange you know, objects that is, you know, I don't recognize. part of the dash makes you invincible. Falling off is really annoying. There we go. Just takes one. It's lucked out, obviously. I happen to enjoy the music on this level. like the little mine cart. It's very Donkey Kong Country.
Sage is pretty unforgiving though for lava pits and things. Like once you get used to the jumps, it's really easy, but it's it's always really difficult to do. Also reminds me of the NES uh, Batman, which I still think is really good. Pretty much every every Sunsoft game or game made by Sunsoft on the NES is really good. The Batman game, the Batman games they made, Blaster Master, and all of those. Sunsoft is still around, but the last thing I saw them do was the uh, remake of Blaster Master. Uh, Blaster Master Overdrive, I think it was, on the uh, on the Wii, on WiiWare. Moving pretty fast through here. I advise anyone new to the game to take their time. It's hard as time and attitude. Especially falling and having to do the whole thing over. That's always not fun. Problem. Not even going to try to pronounce the boss name. I like that chord. Do, 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 da. Here comes the boss. First form, swing disc, spit fire at you. Tag it when it opens. Jump a little, duck, whatever you need to do. Try to tag it with a super kick, but it's just really difficult. Next part, I like to get around this pillar and just kind of slash, slap randomly, like the parts that spit out. Yes, it is the lazy way out. Oops, hit the microphone there. Kind of a lazy way out, but it does work pretty well. Final piece goes, he will work towards you. I don't like to jump too much because he will uh, hit you when he comes in. So this guy just kind of dumps blue liquid. And you can chase him to the edge of the screen. You can tag him with a kick, do sword slashes, and That one. 